Hey YouTube, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. You know this is this is your boy Lou, and today I'm gonna do a six month review of the Steel Siri Arctics Nova Pro Wireless. All right, just to kick things off, let's talk about the build. This thing I done had it for six months, probably a little bit longer, but this thing here is built to last. It's actually ain't had no creaks, no cracks, nothing to break. Nothing but fun, nothing but good times. You know what I'm talking about? You got here, you got the stainless steel cups. These is metal on both sides. And must I say they are removable. You can pop these jokers off here, man. If I can get it off. Give me one second here. All right, look here, you got the USB charger. I don't know why they put the charger on the side, I guess, like if you go on out. And you just need to charge it up because actually the way these look, you can wear them out in public. You can wear them to the gym. You can wear them walking to the bus stop. You can wear them walking through the mall. But yeah, if you go right here, you got another cap that pops off. And this is for the battery. We're going to get into that battery a little bit later. But yeah, that's the battery. Let's take another look around. You got... Oops, let's put that back on now. All right, look here, you got a power button. You got the mute, mute switch. That actually turns a little red line when you put it on mute. You got the volume key, volume up and down, plus and minus. On this side, you got the Bluetooth. And we're gonna get into that a little bit later. And if you look here, you got the little ski goggles, the little nice little material here that's very, very comfortable to wear. You know, you put that on, you set it to your likings. And you see up in there, you got the little holes. You can bring it up, bring it down, depending on how it feels on top of your head. Then on the inside, you got the noise cancellation mic. I don't know if you can see that, but... It's in there and it little sticks out a little bit. Quite a bit if you ask me, but it don't bother me. A lot of people say you can get the, what you call them, wicked cushions and put them on and they'll push your ear off from it. But me, I don't like the wicked cushions. They take a lot away from these headphones. If you look at here, I got my own set. I don't like them. They take the base away, they take the fullness of them away. I'd rather play it without it because it don't bother my ears. I was just getting it because of the big fuss when I was watching videos. And uh, another thing, if you look here, you got the mic. It's the best part of it. It's retractable. It comes out. Got noise cancellation on it. You ain't got to worry about background noise really too much. And down here, you got a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. And I actually kind of like these things, man. You know, when you turn them on, got the white light that pops on. You let you know you're getting connected. Once you get connected, it blinks ever so slowly. And if you look here, you put it on mute. You get a red light. So that red light, you can see that out the corner of your eye. And you will know if you're on mute or not, wondering why people ain't responding when you're talking or talking stuff, you know? You turn that off. If it's inside, you don't know it's muted. So make sure it's out. All right, and right here, you got a couple of noise cancellation mics. You got one there. And you got one now. See the little mics? All right, what else we got here? But once again, I do not recommend changing these unless the nub on the inside of these is hurting your ears. But other than that, I stay standard with the regular cups that's on here because they're nice and uh, comfortable. Might get a little hot. 
But other than that, I like them. They make the bass sound good, the high sound good. Just everything sounds great. And, uh... Okay, moving on to the performance of these. Oh my God, these things, they, they sound like no other. I could play free for alls all day and probably lose one or two matches out of 10. Every match, cause you like, you hear everything. You hear when a person running up, you hear when a person sliding, you hear when a person kills somebody and their body drop, the, do, the little thud, the do do. You hear all that. Somebody falling down the stairs after they got shot, you hear all of that. These headphones, even though they're a little pricey, they're pretty good if you ask me. And oh yeah, this Bluetooth button, you connect your phone to it and uh, you can answer calls. You can play music from your phone all while you're playing Call of Duty. It, it connects simultaneously. And just everything is just very convenient with these headsets. And, uh, and yep, and then the main thing, you got this right here. This is the brains of the operations. But if you got a laptop, I don't use mine on PC, so I don't really know about, not much about the Sonar, Sonar app or whatever they call that. But uh, they say that supposed to give you more functionality and they actually say these headsets are better for pc which i don't game on pc i game on my ps5 and these are ps5 versions which actually goes for PS playstation and pc but uh the game but the xbox ones you can get them for they'll play for xbox playstation and pc but you can hook both of these up at the same time, you can have one going to your PC, one going to your PlayStation. Then you got line in, line out for whatever that is for. I don't know, but uh, it's something, something good, I think. So if you want to check that out. Here you got the battery that stays on charge. Remember I showed you this little compartment right here with the battery in it? See if I can get this joker back open here. Oops, wrong side right here here it is here it is this battery right here there's always a battery in here charging always so whenever your battery run dead you gaming boop boop pop pop them out pop the new one in pop the new one in pop the old one the dead one and the thing close that up and boom you back charging. You got a full one in your headset and you got a one charging up in your deck. And this deck is very, very handy, especially if you don't have a PC. I got a PC, so I do a little settings on my PC and then I plug it up to the game. But on here you got USB input. You can go from USB 1 to USB 2. And that's these two ports I showed you in the back. Like if you got two hooked up, you may have it to your PC and one to your PlayStation. Got USB 1 in your PlayStation, so you got it on USB 1 up here. You go back in there, you got the audio options, you got the presets, you got flat, bass boost, focus, smiley. Then you got some games already set A Apex Legends. You got whatever that game is. You got Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. You got Call of Duty Warzone 2, you got Destiny 2, Diablo 4, you got Fortnite settings, you got FPS footsteps, which I don't know if that's really good. I rather like, I like to use focus, but sometimes I use FPS footsteps. You got GTA 5, Minecraft, Overwatch 2, Player Unknown Battleground. Rainbow Six Siege, Rocket League. And that's it you got on the presets. And then you go up out of there, you got customs. You can go on this customs and you can set all of them. You can set them how high you want it, how low you want it, the frequencies, however you want the sound, you know. If you want more bass, you can turn that up. The low ends, you got the mids, 
Then you got the highs, depending on how you want it. You go back out of there, that's the back button, this little circle right there, it's touch capacity. You go back, you got wireless. This way you set up, you already got your wireless from these, the 2.4 gigahertz, that's to these. You got Bluetooth where you can set your headphones or your phone up. What the hell was that? You got line out, in which I told you I don't know what's that for, but uh, it's here. You might know what it's for, I don't. You got system settings. You go in there, you got the display. You can turn it how bright you want it. Want it on one, or you want it on 10. I keep mine on 10. You can dim the screen after 10 minutes. Or I think you can set different times, let's see. You, got, you can dim it after 10 minutes, 15, 20, 60, 30, 15, five, one minute. You can have it off where it do not dim at all, which I don't know why I ain't got mine on off, but I'm gonna put it on there now. Then you got the home screen details. You got, right, you got home screen. You can have it on detailed, which is, uh, if you check it out, it's got the left and right. That's as you playing, that's the sound coming about the game system. You can see where it say 48 kilohertz and 25, 24 bits, with all this other information right here with the volume. Or you can go back in there Or you can go back in there and you can set it to simple. And simple is that right there with just the volume. Tells you what input you own, USB one, and tell you your battery percentage of both the uh, headset and your uh, battery that you have in charge. Let me turn this on so it can pop up for you. See? Now I got the headset battery and the battery that's in the charger. All right. Go up out of there. What it is in there. So you can go back. The mic LED. The mic LED, I believe, is this one. Like, say, for instance, you got it on mute. See, you got it on mute and it's red, bright red. I think you could dim that. See, you could dim it. Got it on one. Like if you don't want that light in your eye, but you want to mute it sometimes, but you don't want it too bright. Or you could turn it all the way up. See how it's getting brighter. Let me see, I don't know if you could catch that on camera, but uh, turn it down. Turn it up. See, you put it on 10 now, it's super bright. All right. And let's see what else we got here. We got auto off for 10 minutes. We got power saving. Then about the system, you got the tutorial. You got reset. And that's it for this little thing right here, but uh, it's pretty good. I like it, because you got like infinite battery life. You will never run out of battery with these, unless you out at the gym or something. But then again, you, that's what this plug come in at. You can plug this joke up. You set that right there. You can plug this joke up right here. You can plug it up right there and get a nice little charge. You can have a battery pack. Just plug that right on in. You ain't got to worry about nothing. But yeah, other than that, they're very comfortable, very comfortable. I don't have a problem with the uh, standard head, head cushions. Let's put this cap back on here. Let's toss this other cap back on. I think on the battery life, on the battery without it being in, 
charged up or you ain't at home or something, I think the battery lasts about 10 hours on single charge. So uh, that ain't bad though. I never, I probably got to rechange change my battery probably like, I'll say about once a month because I probably just play on the weekends really. I play on the weekends now that I'm working and stuff. And uh, that's what it is, you know. And in conclusion, these has been proven to be a powerhouse performer. Like the design, the weight of them, they're not too heavy on your head. You barely feel you got them on. The immersive sound, I'm talking about, man. The sound, you gotta get these to hear them. They well worth the money. It's a little pricey coming in at 350, but I actually think they got a sale on them now. Let me check this out, let me see. They got a sale on Amazon. Let's check it out. They got a sale. Here they go, right here. They got them on sale. The PC and PlayStation for $291. And I don't know why they got another PC and PlayStation for $297. But that's the Xbox one. It's $314. I think the Xbox one, the reason why it costs so much, because it goes to every system. The PlayStation just to work on PlayStation and PC. And as you see the price, two, $291. And if you order it today, right about now, that you're watching this video, you can get it today. But yeah, that's that on that. And I'm always tell you, do not get no wicked cushions because those are not the way to go, if you ask me. And to me, I believe I invested in some good headsets. I really believe that they gonna be around for the long haul. I really do. And the base, I know I probably didn't mention too much on the base, the base is, is there. The base is A1. I'm talking about you hear the booms, the booms, you hear bullets whizzing past your head, you hear all of that. I love these things. And also they swivel, you know what I'm saying? So you can get that nice fit around your head. You move this strap up. Bing, bing. I know y'all probably wondering why my strap blue. My strap blue, because I used to have uh, wire ones. And you know the wire, you get the PlayStation, it's blue. You get the Xbox, it's green. And I gave them to my brother. So I gave him the black ones off here. And I kept my blue ones, because I like the blue, because they go with my PlayStation. But yeah, you can buy these. They actually sell these straps. And then the little covers, whatever color you get the strap, you can get these the same colors. I think I seen red, I seen lilac, like a mint green. And I think they got Diablo, a Diablo themed pack too, with the little texture on these on both sides. It's really nice. But yeah, this adjust, they swivel. You guaranteed to get a nice fit with these and you can wear these hours on end. I'm talking about all day if you want to because you can just switch the batteries you ain't gonna never run out of battery so in conclusion these are very good in, in, in investment you know i don't feel you'll go wrong with them now i done tested out i tested out the turtle beach the turtle beach got some nice deep bass the only thing the clamping force on your head i get a headache after like 15 minutes of wearing the turtle beaches but don't get me wrong, the Turtle Beaches sound just as good. The Turtle Beaches are really nice. The, uh, what they call them, the Stealth Pro, they nice. And if, you know, they wasn't too tight on my head, I would have kept them and sent these on back. But I like these because they got the little infinite battery. And I believe the Stealth Pro got infinite battery too. Because they got the battery that sit up in the little, the little hood too. But, uh, yeah. For a good little 300, they not bad. I feel I'm going to get my use out of them, you know, and uh, oh, the noise cancellation, this power button right here, you hit that button one time, and I'm talking about savings, you got your fan running, you got a heater right next to you, because I game in my basement, so I probably always got the heater on, or the furnace is humming in the background, I don't have to hear it, I hit the noise cancellation button block out all noise and also it got a transparency mode on these things 
I think. Yeah. Yeah. Let me show y'all in here. Gotta, let's check this out. Let's go on up in here. Transparency mode. Let me see. You got A and C where you block out all noise. You got transparency mode where you can hear everything coming in loud and clear. Like if you got a baby and the baby's somewhere crying around the corner or in the next room or something, you can hear that at all times. It's just wide open. Then you got sad tone. Sad tone, as you turn that on, you can turn it to low, medium, or high. Depending on how loud you want to hear yourself as you gaming. So you actually can have A and C on and side tone, but you can't have A and C on and transparency. Side tones where you can hear your voice ever so slightly, depending on how high you set it from low, medium to high, but you'll always hear your voice so it won't seem like you trapped inside a box or something. You know, it let out, you know, let in, let in the little fresh breeze that you're gonna call it. And you got the mic volume and right here, you can set your mic value from one to 10. Also, if you look here, everything I just showed you on the thing, you can do it right here from this little button down here. See that button? See that button right there? You can press it in and see as I hold it, see how that changed. And everything I just showed you, as long as you're looking at the thing, the display, you can change it from across the room, wherever you at. Everything I just showed, you can do it from right here. And then the back button is the power button. Hit power, you go back. Hit power again, you go all the way back. So you got the power button now for the ANC and transparency mode. You got this button I was just telling you about. You can press that and you can change everything I showed. You can set your audio, your presets, your custom. You can do everything from here. Check that out. That's y'all up there. You hit the power button to go back. You can go to presets. Same way. Press it in. Hit the power button to go back. Like when you see the option you want, you go there, you click it in. And you click the power to go back. But yeah, all in all, to me, these headsets is uh, a major, major go, y'all. So Flossy say it's a major, major, major go. But uh, yeah, and once again, these are the Arctic Nova Pro Wireless headsets from Steel Series. And uh, yes, uh, they approved by me. I don't know if that means anything, but I like them. I really like them. But I do not recommend getting these, no, no wicking cushions, unless you have to. If you have to because of the little noise canceling nub is messing with your ear, you can get them. But other than that, if you like your, the way they sound and you want to keep your quality sound, stay away from these. Because uh, I actually only got one now because I don't even know what happened to the other ones. Because when I took them off and I realized that the regular ones sound good, I didn't even need them. I just wanted them because they looked nice. But uh, if the nub, the nub on the inside bothers you and uh, you need to get a little more cushion away from it to keep it from rubbing your ears, then these are guaranteed a good way to go. Then they got the little infused cushion, infused cooling gel, whatever. I never felt the cold, but they say put them in the freezer. I'm not putting no muffs in the freezer but uh yeah these is uh they'll win on my on in my boat so uh if you out and you need yourself a good if you out and you need yourself a good head set of headphones that's gonna last and tired of going through headphones that you pay maybe a hundred dollars for and they last about two or three months and then they broke go on any up a little couple more hundred and uh, you can't go wrong with these. You really can't. The sound quality is good. Oh yeah, and the mic quality. 
When I was on the phone, they sound absolutely great. I never had no one say, yeah, I can't hear you. What'd you say? The mic quality on the phone call, A1, A1. So, uh, yeah, once again, these are the Arctic Nova Pro Wireless from Steel Series. And uh, once again, like always, thank you for watching my video. Please like and subscribe. And uh, if you got any comments, questions, or anything about these, just put it down in the comments down below. And uh, this is Lou signing out with another video. And uh, have a good one. Peace. Church.